a spare seat in the lair as Rochester prepare to unveil their latest signing. Former African Footballer of the Year, Mandy Bandini set for his Premiership debut. There were doubts about his long-term fitness. There had been doubts about Michael Owen's long-term fitness. He spent last season in the treatment room. He's all right now and back to his best. Rochester manager Ray White has staked his reputation on European football next season. Gerard Julio knows all about missing out on the Champions League. His team finished fourth last season. It's Harchester who get this football match underway. Gerard Houdier wanted a positive start from his team, but it's Harchester who have this throw. Enter Bandini with his first real touch in the game. And able to control it. Flicked on by Mack. That's Lucas now. Mack for Harchester. Scott Lucas in towards Bandini! What a start! What an incredible start for Bandini! It's the stuff of fairy tales. Mandy Bandini scores within two minutes of his Premiership debut. Osborne picks out Smith. Four towards Common. It's a clash of heads there with Gerard. A minute of stoppage time to be added on, and we might need some stoppage time now because Matt Conlon, the hardest United captain, has damaged his head in a clash with Stephen Gerard of Liverpool. He's hardly moved since he went down. And already they're calling for the stretcher. Now this is a worrying moment for Archester United. Gerard appears to be OK. The referee trying to calm things down. I just wonder whether Matt Conlon can play any further part in this football match. I'm sure they'll take him to the dressing room and assess the damage at the break. Ray Wyatt might have to make a substitution though in the second half. And this is a desperate sight for Archester United who lead by goal to nil. Their captain being carried off. There's the half-time whistle. And Artist United fortunate to be one up at the break. Sander Vestavel has been beaten once by a debut goal from Mundy Bandini. After just two minutes of the game, Conlon is being carried off here. Liverpool should have equalised. They've had enough chances. But at half-time, Hartchester lead 1-0. Osborne for Harchester, forward to Bandini, lovely touch by Lucas, back to Bandini, what a lovely pass by Scott Lucas, and this is Bandini, it ricochets off a Liverpool defender, and Fletcher, and Harchester have come out fighting in this second half, and there was a delightful combination between Bandini and Lucas, just a minute left of the 90 now, and Harchester still hanging on, here they come again, that one aimed in towards Bandini, it might break here towards Scott Lucas, Oh, and Scott Lucas is clean through on goal. And he scored. And Harchester have won the game. And their stand-in skipper, Scott Lucas, scores a clinching goal against his former club. Look at his delight. Look at the delight of his teammates. It's the Lucas and Bandini show. Best of out and his colleagues know the game is up. So too does Gerard Houllier. Harchester United are going to take three more points in their quest for European football next season. All smiles at the Dragon's Lair. Liverpool restart the game, looking for only a consolation goal now. Vigard Hegem for Liverpool. Trying to squirm his way through, but Harchester United have stuck to their guns. At times, Liverpool outplayed Harchester, but Harchester just refused to budge. They scored that early goal, they've scored a late goal, and they have a victory. What a well-earned victory as well for Ray White's team. Sander Vestival conceded two goals, and Liverpool's impressive run comes to an end away to Harchester United. But these fans have a new hero. The former African Footballer of the Year, Mundy Bandili, who scored that opening goal. Scott Lucas played a giant role in the second half, taking over the captain's armband to lead his side to success. Final score, 2-0 to Harchester.